a memorial service is underway at downtown Central Park. Today marks the 10th anniversary of the Fuyuki disaster, a disaster that claimed the lives of more than 500 people and remains a mystery to this day. The ground still bears the scars left over from the atrocity. Approximately 400 people have gathered to offer prayer and flowers to the lives that were lost here 10 years ago. Some of the attendees have come to offer goodwill, and some of them are friends and family of those who perished. For those oh, who I could meet that another fight. Ago, mm. it will be an event forever etched in I our can't mind. believe how late it is. I guess it's best if I start heading home now. I'll take you home. It's gotten a bit dangerous lately. <gasps> Don't forget to lock up when you go. Leaving the place unlocked is a big no-no, Shiro. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Are you kidding? It's the least I could do. If anything, I should be thanking you for everything you do to help me out. I really like the big meals we have. Having lots of people to eat with sure beats eating alone. <laughs> Bleeding. Uh huh. You're right. I must have cut it cleaning up somehow. Hear me. I command thee to my side and entrust my fate in thine sword. If thou wilt concede to this will and reason, answer my call and take heed in the refuge of the Holy Grail. It is my oath to thee that I embody all that is good in the eternal world and depose of all that is evil and corrupt. I call upon you, the Seven Heavens, protectors of the Great Spirit Trinity. Keeper of the Balance, come forth! The Holy Grail Wars. Seven Magi fighting for centuries to take control of the Holy Grail. Obtain the Grail, and it will grant you any wish, along with absolute power. While the Holy Grail awaits its victor, one Magus will align with one of the seven servants. Each servant is a legendary hero from history whose spirit and body have been revived by the Grail. It is up to the servant to choose the Magus it deems most worthy of its talents. As the Magi battle for the Grail, their servants will accompany them in their spiritual form. However, if needed, the servant can be summoned to take their physical shape in order to battle against the other servants. That's just a fraction of the Grail's extraordinary power. And whoever obtains it will rule the world. Huh? Who's there? Still here. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Time to die. <laughs> I am Saber, your servant. I have heeded your summons and come forth.
I ask you. Are you worthy of being my master? Well, Shiro Emya, whether you know it or not, you have now entered into a whole new world. One where you must learn to kill, or be killed. <coughs> that is the reality you chose when you agreed to become a master. Fine, I'll fight. But for one reason, so that I can bring an end to these ridiculous Grail Wars. <laughs> be happy, young man. Your wish to be a hero may finally come true. No need to deny it. The human struggles you've chosen to embrace are very fitting for you. Listen, you do realize that you and I are supposed to be enemies in this war. We are? Uh, I only brought you to Kirei's church because you were absolutely clueless. You had no idea what you'd gotten yourself into. But now that you've agreed to be a Magus and fight, well, that just leaves one thing for us to do, doesn't it? I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? Never give your enemy time to prepare. You think I'm an idiot? I know that. Then stop talking and make your move. And please don't tell me you plan to go easy on them. Of course I won't! Look, it's just that... I'd prefer if this were a fair fight. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so naive. Let's call it a day for now. But starting tomorrow, you and I are no longer friends. We're enemies. Gotcha. And thanks, Rin, for going easy on us. Uh, why did you say that? Listen, after tonight, no more of this friend stuff. All right, if you insist. But I'd rather we were friends than enemies. I mean, the way you've helped me out shows that you're kind of an awesome person. So thank you. <sighs> Look, I'm just trying to tell you to be careful, okay? Saber may be an excellent servant, but if you get yourself killed, it's all over. <laughs> what? It's Elia and Berserker. <laughs> Shiro, stay back. <laughs> Berserker, destroy them. <laughs>
save her! Stop it, idiot! You wanna die? I've gotta help her! <laughs> no, Shiro, don't! Uh, Archer, get out of the way of what? weapon. Ha! He was hoping he could take me out along with Berserker. He didn't even care that he could be taking out you and Rin in the process. Berserker. Bye bye. And as for you, Mister, I'll see you soon. <sighs> Shiro, is he all right? You've got to be kidding me. Look, Berserker is far stronger than I had expected. So, teaming up with Saber and Shiro to fight Berserker is not a bad idea. It's actually a smart choice. I strongly disagree. Those two are nothing more than an encumbrance you should reconsider. And if I don't, will you disobey your master? Even if I wanted to, I can't. As long as you're my master, I must obey. We're not done. I need to know more about you. Like which hero of legend you actually are, so... What's your real name? Has it come to you yet? No, unfortunately. Not yet. I'm afraid that my memory still fails me. Shall I tell you why that is? Uh it's a result of your poor summoning skills. Uh, why, you arrogant... Uh, hey, come back here and carry my bags for me! Just a dream, huh? May I have some more, please? Yes, of course! You sure aren't a picky eater, Saber. No. As long as it tastes good, I will eat anything you put before me. Well, I'm surprised how slim you are, considering how much you eat. Good morning! I'm starving! Feed me! Feed me! Telling me when we started running a guest house here, huh? 
Whatever your answer is, it better be really good or I'm Listen, this is my fault. <laughs> I should have told you about this much sooner. I apologize. But you see, they're renovating my home and I've nowhere to stay. And that's when your sister showed up from overseas, huh? That sure is a lot going on. Wow. I had uh, planned to take uh, off from school and stay in a hotel instead. Uh, but Shiro, <laughs> being so generous, offered us a place here. I really hope that we're not imposing. Oh, no! Don't be silly! Use the house! Ah, uh, Shiro! As much as you need! Thank you so much. Me as well, please. Uh, okay. Come on, Takara! You don't want to be late for morning practice. Let's go, let's go, uh, let's right. go, let's go. Oh, ring. Pick up the pace. Time's a wasting. Wait, you're not going to follow me to school, are you? I have to. A servant protects their master. Yeah, but I'll be surrounded by people at school. No one will mess with me there. I'll be fine. Just wait here. If that is your wish, Master, I have no choice but to oblige. But you have to agree to promise me one thing. Uh. If you sense any danger at all, call me. I will be able to hear those thoughts from you, and I will come at once. But if you need me immediately, use a command spell. Okay, you have my word. Better get a move on or you'll be late. Shinji. Uh-oh. What's wrong? You're looking a little pale there. No, I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy for a sec. Well, I hope that is the case. Because you kind of look like death warmed over to me. <laughs> a force field? There's obviously another Magus at this school. Whoever it is, they're the one who cast this force field. So that's what I felt at the front gates. But what's the point of a force field? One way for a servant to build their mana is by consuming as much life force as possible. This Magus is powering up his servant by allowing the servant to feed off the students here. That's horrible! True, but he's yet to complete the whole force field, and I have no intention of letting him finish that task. Then the next thing we need to do is find this guy! <laughs> <sighs> Who was that? I don't know. Wait! This could be a trap! I guess she just fainted. Is that really what you think? Someone's clearly drained her life force, but it's all right. I think I can revive her. I didn't think you'd wander out here alone. Uh, Shinji! Go on. 
summon your servant already. <laughs> Enya's a bit slow. Chances are he's forgotten how to do it. <laughs> you did this. You put up the force field. You're the other Magus. So it would seem. And now I can easily kill whomever I want at this school. Don't do it, Shinji! Really? You are telling me what to do? You truly are slow. <laughs> Shinji! You're really annoying. Do you know that? Kill him. Ryder, we're leaving. Is he the student who's responsible for this? Yeah, it's all him. Is that girl gonna be okay? Don't worry, she's going to be fine. Saber. All right, Master. Understood. <laughs> servant. <laughs> I swear! Ryder was being ordered by someone else! Just what are you babbling about? Look, that's all I know! <laughs> It's all my fault. I got careless and I let this happen to everyone. They're breathing. <gasps> we got here just in time. <sighs> Look, it's okay. I think they're gonna make it. Shira, thank you. Uh, huh? Really, I mean it. You stayed calm during all that. I'm impressed. 
I was just going on instincts, like you. See, that's not the first time I've been surrounded by lots of bodies. I just stayed focused. What are you talking about? Well, look who's here. Saber. What a surprise. <laughs> you have a lot of nerves showing up now. Where were you? I came the moment I sensed my master was in danger. But then, when I arrived, the matter was resolved. Of course. No thanks to you, I might add. I could throttle you for not being here. It was completely irresponsible. While you were busy slacking off somewhere, Shiro and I were fighting for our lives. You want to abandon the Grail Wars, do you? What choice do I have? Without a servant, how can I fight? It's not my fault Ryder was such a horrible servant. So it was the servant's fault? Of course. It was her incompetence that lost that fight. But the worst part was losing to Emmy and that arrogant red girl. And if you had the ability to fight, would you? Yes! Well, it turns out that you're in luck. There happens to be a servant who is still available. I say we have Saber do the dirty work and let her destroy that eyesore berserker. But to do so, I'll need that command spell of yours. Servant assassin. I assume you wish to pass. Try it if you dare. Just passing through. Nothing more. <sighs> it's you, Archer. Clearly, Assassin is not doing his job. Interesting. Two servants in one place. So, Caster, it would seem that both your master and Assassins are in league with each other. Would that be true? <laughs> what are you insinuating? Are you referring to that pawn of a servant I summoned? If you have, then you have broken the rules. How so? I've always been a magus. Why shouldn't I summon a servant of my own? The problem is you're stealing human souls, and in addition to that you're using assassin to fight your battles for you. <sighs> that all you've got? Don't just stand there gaping! <laughs> What's 
the matter, Archer? Can't you move? Guess it's the end for you, then. Saber's waiting outside. I'm afraid this is all the time I have to spend on you. Fight me already. Hmm? What was that? You heard me! I said fight me already! <sighs> Bone of my sword, unleash thine ire! Why didn't you finish me off? I only draw my sword for a fatal blow when it's clear that I absolutely have to. This situation did not call for that. Then it would seem you and that boy are very much alike. Really? You refuse to kill when you have nothing to gain, and that boy refuses to stand by and watch innocent humans be sacrificed. You're both cut from the same cloth. I am nothing like him, and I never will be! The boy is right. He and I are very different people. <laughs> it's a shame that we are enemies. Why don't you two join me? Forget it! Don't be so hasty. I will be a vast improvement over your current partner. I would never join you! Your side is lacking in strength. I gain absolutely nothing by aligning with you. If you're not willing to negotiate, then we have nothing more to discuss. That's true. And since I'm the interloper who crashed your party, killing you here is not my place. Leave while you can. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Wait! Why did you let her go? She's the one destroying the city! She's killing innocent people! And stopping her achieves what? Uh -huh. Casters consuming human energy for one single purpose. To store up enough mana so she can defeat Berserker. So I say we let her do that. And when that's done, we defeat her. I'm not like you! I don't let innocent people die! If you think it's okay to lose a few lives, then you're no better than Caster! You simply cannot save everyone. <laughs> Just accept it. If you aren't willing to risk the life of even one person, then you'll never save anyone. If you value your life, you'll listen. So be it. And this is where it ends for you, Shiro Emiya. The boy would rather be killed than kill another. Shiro! Saber, you're here. Why didn't you take this chance to strike me down? Because that would have been crass. I would never pluck a beautiful flower for no reason. Go. Very well. We'll resume this later. You going to stop me, samurai? Interesting. You see, I was about to ask the same of you. You put her down right now! <laughs> no, don't! <laughs> Rule. 
Rule Breaker. This is my noble phantasm. It annihilates all prior packs or contracts. What do you mean? What did you do to her? It means that Saber is my servant now. I suggest you begin your service by killing that girl. No, stop this. You will kill her. I said stop! Really? You're resisting a command spell? Shiro, run. <laughs> Saber? Wait. What's this doing here? <laughs> Grown tired of resisting my command spells yet? <laughs> <laughs> That girl's found us. She will soon come to regret that. <laughs> well, he didn't seem the type to hand over the grail willingly, now did he? Wait, that's... That's Kuzuki, the teacher. And? Did you check to ensure he was actually dead? I know when someone's dead. <laughs> do you? Because I doubt he would go that easily. You're a pathetic excuse for a magus. Archer, you go on and rescue Saber. I will handle the witch. Easy. Your sorcery's no match against hers. That woman's dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll defeat her. <laughs> I admire your courage. But challenging Castor on her own ground gives her a decided advantage. Bear in mind this is a woman who once killed her own brother to save herself. Wait! What are you doing? Legend has it that the King of Colchis could produce soldiers from the Tooth of a Dragon. Turns out his daughter, Queen Medea, was an exceptional enchantress as well. All true. And now you know why I have the advantage here. It's only a matter of time before Saber succumbs to my will. Ha! You'll never break Saber, even with a command spell. But in the span of one heartbeat, I could quite easily take your life. That's absurd. <laughs> I will accept the offer you made me earlier. <laughs> After already turning it down, aren't you the fickle one? The tide has since turned. Now that you have Saber as your servant, victory leans your way. Archer? What are you doing? 
thing! Go on. Use Rule Breaker on me. Wait. Before I agree to join you, one condition must be met. Oh, really? And what would that be? They no longer pose a threat as a master. Killing them at this juncture would serve no purpose. <laughs> Let them go. Fine. Now scurry out of here in defeat like the failures you are. Let's go. For what it's worth, I see his point. I made a mistake early on. I should have defeated Castor when I had the chance, regardless of what the cost was. Archer would not have made that mistake, so I can't fully blame him for switching sides. I was weak instead of strong, and it cost me dearly. What you did was far from weak. Huh? It may have cost you, but it was the right decision to make. If you ask me, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you. You know, Shiro, what you did was amazing. You were able to project the same swords that Archer uses. It kind of amazed me, too. I mean, I've projected other things before, but never a weapon. But something about those blades was different. Normally, I have to visualize the structure, everything about the object, but those swords just appeared in my mind, as if my knowledge of them had been there all along. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right, enough of this. Come on, we gotta devise a whole new game plan. Oh, I forgot. I need to give this back to you. This is yours, isn't it? I didn't put it all together until I saw you had one just like it at your house. <sighs> hey, what do you think about asking Iliasville to help us out? What? Are you insane? Her servant is Berserker. She has no reason to align with anyone else. We don't know that for sure. There's always a slim chance she might do it. No way. I can't believe how naive you are sometimes. Look, I know Archer would say that any plan that hinges on nothing more than a tiny sliver of hope is ridiculous, but you and me are different. We're the kind of people who beat the odds. We're the long shot that wins. Fighting against these chains is futile. 
Not even the gods themselves could escape these binds. Come here, little doll. No, don't! No, Dad, I don't want to! Don't make me! <laughs> hmm. Yes! I know I'm quite the sight to behold, but you really should know your place. Wait. Hmm? So, Emia, now that you've gotten a glimpse of my new servant, what do you think of him? <laughs> Go on, beg for your life. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be lucky and he'll take pity on you. Go to hell! <laughs> you idiot! Hey, you, servant! Hmm? Move so much as a muscle and your master will be dead! R Rin! Go on, kill my master. It won't affect me. I don't die that easily. Sorry. Wait, hold on! What are you doing?! The situation has changed. That girl up there is perfect. She's gonna make an excellent vessel. Huh? Hmm. Rin, I'm glad we crossed paths. I see you've managed to stay alive. As you know, Castor has been amassing quite a bit of power. Soon, Ryudo Temple will be the next altar. Fighting an opponent on their own ground is very difficult. So what do you say? Ditch that loser, Emia, <laughs> and come and join our side. Not in a million years. <laughs> you think I'd agree to take orders from you? You're even dumber than I thought. <laughs> and just so you know, there's only one person in these whole Grail Wars who thinks you have any talent as a Magus, and that's you. Enough chit-chat. Time to deal with this heart before it spoils. Wait! Damn it! You're gonna regret this! What were you thinking? You knew if you showed yourself to them, the first thing they'd try to do is kill you. So why'd you run out there without any plan of attack? I wasn't thinking about why. I was just thinking about saving her. Every suspicion that I have ever had of you has just been fully confirmed. You realize something inside you is truly warped. You value everyone else's lives and safety far more than your own. You can't keep doing that. You've got to start putting yourself first. I mean it. Giving other people's lives more weight than yours is foolish. Realize that you have control over this scale. And saving someone else, at the risk of destroying your own life, throws everything out of balance. Look, I'm sorry. Listen, if you were some mindless nobody, I wouldn't care what you chose to do with your life. But that's not the case. You have purpose and conviction. And for some bizarre reason, you're willing to throw that all away for any stranger you meet. Keep that up, Shiro, and I promise, it will break you in half one day. Rin, you're not getting it. I do what I do so I don't fall apart. You're wrong. You're already broken. I don't know what happened. I wish I did. I would love to know what has transpired in your life to create this ridiculous hero complex of yours. The events at school made everything clear. There you were, surrounded by a maze of bodies, and it didn't once faze you. You even said so yourself. 
I don't know why, but you've clearly been in that situation before. You're right about that. It was bad. And it wasn't the first time I've been in the middle of something so awful. But everything else, you're wrong about. It was a fire ten years ago that saved me. You might think living through that tragedy is exactly what's wrong with me. But that isn't the case at all. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. You were in that fire? Yeah, and that was the day that I learned to accept my death. I was expecting it. I remember lying there thinking, even if by some chance I did get out of there alive, what was there to live for? I had experienced something truly horrible and lost everything. What reason did I have to keep living? But the fact is, I was the only one whose life had been spared that day. And I soon realized that it was my duty to save other people, in honor of all the lives that weren't saved that day. But that's it, Shiro! All the more reason to value your life! Fortune spared you, it gave you a gift, and you have to respect that instead of throwing it away! Thousands of lives were lost except yours! It's time you wake up and realize you need to be grateful for what you have! <laughs> Listen, Rin, I hear you. Maybe I don't respect certain things as much as I should, but that's okay. Because I know that wanting to live my life for other people is not something that I'm ever going to regret. <laughs> so now there's an eighth servant. I don't know how it's possible. There's not supposed to be eight. And of all the Magi, why would he want to partner with Shinji? I think we should be focusing on Caster. Every second we wait is a second she uses to build more mana. You're right. Huh. There's no way you two will win this thing by yourselves. <laughs> Easy. I'm not here to fight. Yeah, right. Listen, you two could use my help right now, and you know it. Oh, really? So then, have you gone rogue, or is this some kind of joke? This wasn't my idea. Caster's mana keeps growing stronger, and my master's looking for allies to help take her out. Look, this is just a temporary alliance that would end once the job is done. <laughs> All right, fine, I'm in. And you, Shiro? Think you can just show up and expect me to trust you? Yes, I do. You have good instincts in choosing her as your ally. And her instincts tell her to align with us. And in the end, I know you'll agree because you're a trusting guy. Uh I should probably tell you something about that pendant you returned to me. You see, there's only one. The one you found in my room is the same one I used on you. It was Archer who brought it back to me. I never questioned where he got it. I just simply assumed that he had found it somewhere. <gasps> and there you are. I knew you two would come back. Oh yeah? But I bet you didn't think they'd bring me with them. <laughs> you didn't waste any time, but really, this guy's your new servant? Indeed.
sure you're really an archer? You're good and all, but your swordsmanship is definitely lacking in pride. Sorry, but I don't have any pride. I am the bone of my sword. Impressive. I didn't know a spear existed that could pierce the ice. Come clean. Who are you really? Just an archer, that's all. Just an archer? Yeah, right. With a shield that can block a noble phantasm? Come on! Focus. There's more afoot here. <sighs> it would seem that Castor has gotten herself into a bit of trouble. Of course. That was your plan all along, wasn't it? I thought you might have been the one behind that attack, so you didn't switch sides. Saber! You okay? Shiro. I missed. What was that about? <laughs> From here on, I'm acting on behalf of my own interests. And what? That includes killing Shiro? Back down, Archer! Choose to fight in this condition, Saber, and you may vanish for good. I vowed to protect him, and I intend to keep that vow. Very well. If that is your wish, let's go! <laughs> Using magic more powerful than you comes at a cost. It's a miracle that you have managed to stay alive this far. But you're about to pay the price right now. Your luck has just run out! Hear thee! I command thee to my side and entrust my fate in thine sword. If thine will can 
concedes to this reason. Answer me, and take heed in the refuge of the Grail. It is my oath to thee that I embody all that is good in the eternal world, and depose of all that is corrupt. I call upon the seven heavens, protectors of the great spirit Trinity, <coughs> keeper of the balance, come forth! Answer this call, and I vow that my fate will be entrusted in thy sword! I am the Servant Saver, and this pact I accept. I acknowledge you as my master, Rin! The situation has clearly changed. You still think you can beat me? <laughs> Phantasm nearly gone, your mana has been spent. And now, without even a magi, your plans to harm him are through! An archer can continue to exist without a master for two days. That leaves me more than enough time to kill him. You realize the desire you desperately cling to is meaningless. And not only is it meaningless, it's wrong! Even if you get your wish, you lose. What about you? You cling to a desperate desire yourself! <laughs> <laughs> I am the bone of my sword. No, stop! Unknown to death, nor known to life. Unlimited blade works! entirely of his making. It's what's known as a reality marble. This is a world that only I can control. Here, I can create any weapon at will. This is my talent as a legendary hero. Any weapon you choose? I find that unlikely. If you wish to challenge me, then let me oblige by replicating that sacred sword of yours. You've no knowledge of its true form. I may not be able to replicate its full character, but I bet I can come real close. Let her go! I will, after I've gone someplace where we won't be bothered. And what'll happen to Rin? She's my hostage now. Which means that idiot boy will most certainly come after me. Don't forget, Rin is your master. You can continue to protect him if you choose. But lose your master and you are finished. <laughs> the... Uh, Einsburn Castle! It's in the forest on the edge of town! It's completely isolated. No one will bother you at this place. Shira. Meet me there and we'll settle this for good. But if you so much as lay a finger on Rin before then, with or without Saber by my side, I will kill you!
Did you get it taken care of, boy? <sighs> Lancer! Wait! He's all right. He actually helped us out earlier. What? Hey, where's the girl? <laughs> Archer took her. He did what? Archer! Tell me, why do you want to kill Shiro? Because he's soft. And for guys like that, the sooner they go, the better. I know he's soft. But in a strange way, that's actually his strength. At first, I hated that quality in him. But then I came to accept it. And when I decided to believe people like him do exist in this world, I felt like I'd been saved in some strange way. Well, Rin, we meet again. Shinji! What's wrong, Archer? <laughs> the sight of my servant Gilgamesh make you tremble. What are you after, Rin? Of course. Why else would anyone come to visit this moldy castle? Fine, but you'll need to wait until I've dealt with that fool, Emir. After that, you can do what you want with her. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> What an amusing little puppet. Okay, settle down. No need for this. Archer will soon disappear anyway. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're late. Show me where Rin is, now! Sorry, but you took too long to get here. Someone else beat you to it. Shinji has her now. <laughs> Calm down. Don't worry, everything will be fine. I'm under orders from my master to make sure she stays alive. <laughs> you and I had the exact same pendant. Which is odd, since there's only one that was ever created in the first place. This is true, and being who you are, you carried it with you since it helped spare your life. A copy of it does not exist. It's an heirloom belonging to Rin's father. I see. I know exactly who you are now. You're the epic spirit, Emiya. That is your true identity. If what Shiro says is true, and you're indeed the legendary hero that he one day becomes, then you should embody his ideals, but instead you wish to kill him! I did become the defender of justice that he so longed to be. I rescued people, and once I even went so far as to save the world. But in the end, all that I was left with was nothing but regret. That, and of course, the people I killed. You did what? You killed people? In order to save as many people as I possibly could, I took one wasted, misspent life after another. I've taken so many souls in the name of justice and morality. And though I've saved far more lives than I have taken, I couldn't even begin to tally up the dead if I tried. It's pointless. It's a cycle that perpetuates itself. And there is only one way for me to stop it. So then, you regret becoming a hero? Of course. I, or rather you, should never have become an epic spirit in the first place. In that case, you and I are not the same person. Because I do not regret my actions, and I do not have any sympathy for you! I'll take your twisted sense of righteousness and crush it myself! Very well. You now know who you're fighting. Which means the winner takes control of the Blade Works! I am the bone of my sword! Trace! On! You just... 
disgusting creep! <laughs> Lancer! Hold still. Step away, Lancer. Huh? What? Kirei, so you are still alive. By coming here, Master, and showing yourself, you've broken your word to me. I'm afraid that goes both ways, Lancer. I gave you an order to make sure Archer was taken care of. He'll self-destruct any second. But, this boy here, I'm guessing this is another <laughs> secret you haven't shared with me. It's not your place to question me. We're working in conjunction with each other. We are nothing more than two sides who have aligned in order to obtain the Holy Grail. You're a stain on the church! So what becomes of the girl now? Did you honestly want me to save your pupil or not? Of course I did. She was the perfect pawn. Besides, removing her from the games early wouldn't have been much fun. That's why I had you protect her. But I think my role as her mentor has come to an end. Finish her! If you want me to do that, you'll need to use a command spell. Then I command you to kill thyself, Lancer. <laughs> Time is up too. Lancer, if I had known this is how I would die one day, then I would never have become a Hero! It's all mine now. <laughs> the Grail's mine! Go on, thank me for it! <laughs> and maybe I'll share it with you! Get off me! But then what do I get in return? You little maggot! How dare you touch her! Why won't you die?! You first! <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we've got to treat that wound. A heart burst by a gay ball can't be healed. Goodbye, Lancer. I may not know you well, but from what I've seen, you're definitely my type. <laughs> Sorry, Lassie. But feel free to try again when you're a few years older. <laughs> Anywhere close to mine! 
You can barely conjure up the basic framework of a weapon. Go to hell! You saw it, didn't you? You know the future that awaits you now. A lonely creature bound by the weight of his futile ideals. This is what your so-called convictions will do to you. I said... Desperately to become a hero! I'm not trying to become a hero! I will become one! And now I know, because it's all you have! And let me tell you, it's pathetic! You know nothing! Really? Is that what you think? You still cling to that day! Your memory of that man saving you! The joy on his face! You want that same happiness he had saving you! These ideals of yours aren't even your own! You're wrong! You fool! You've let yourself become obsessed by this fantasy you have saving people. This reality you think awaits you is an illusion, and you don't even know it! This world you're living in is nothing more than a fairy tale! The choice is yours. You can either wake up now or die dreaming! It doesn't matter! I don't care if my whole body is made of swords! So then, that's it. I will not lose to you. I don't care if someone else beats me, but I will not lose to myself! You fool! Justice is on my side! You're so blinded by justice, you can't even see how outmatched you are! Right will always defeat wrong! That delusion was my undoing as well! Well, it won't be mine! Because it's not a delusion! mine, Archer. Yes, and it seems that it is my loss. No matter what obstacles lay ahead, I will overcome them, and I will have no regrets. I hope so, or else all this was for nothing. You two put on quite a show. You guys call yourselves heroes, but you're nothing more than cheap imitations. See what I mean? Now you know what real power feels like. You worthless fakes need to be tossed in the trash. Archer! Defeat him. I know you can.
I'll have to finish you maggots off another day. Does this mean you're running away? That's hardly the case. The Grail is nearly complete. And if I don't hurry and contain it, then it may overflow, and who knows what sort of havoc that will wreak. I think he's summoning the Grail at Ryudo Temple. Then we attack there. Saber, you keep Gilgamesh busy at the front gate. Shiro and I will enter from the rear. Uh, hold on! I don't know if Saber can take that guy. <sighs> and why's that? His power is like that of war itself. He's crazy strong. He needs an opponent whose power is similar. Fine. But who would that be? Where do we find someone with that sort of power? I don't know, but whoever it is has it to has be- It has to be you, Shiro. Uh. You will have to use Archer's Reality Marble. That's the only chance you have of beating him. But Rin, that requires substantial magic, far more than Shiro's- Yes, but when in time of dire need, a good magician always knows the best place from which to steal. Oh. Um. I mean, borrow. Never mind. Uh-huh. <coughs> Guess I don't have much of a choice. I'm afraid you will just have to do. <coughs> you kept saying that you wanted the Grail. <laughs> It's incredibly valuable. Take my advice and keep it close. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You want to take all your command seals and transfer them to me? What other option is there? If we can successfully transfer all of my seals to you, then that should give you all the power you'll need to create a reality marble. Let's give it a try. Focus your energy. <clears throat> Hyoku, I summon thee. Take the seals, number one and number sixteen stop. Engrave this covenant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Infinity. Smaller. Larger, larger, smaller. Hyoku, four. Does this mean that it worked? Yes, it worked. The rest is up to you. Got it. Thanks a lot for doing this, Rin. Hey, what's wrong? You saw them, didn't you? You saw my memories. Well, yeah, but I... <laughs> you jerk! Those were personal! Ah! I've been waiting for you, Saber. Uh, assassin! Castor has long since been defeated and disappeared. How are you able to remain in this world? She may have been a sorceress before, but now she's a servant, which means she has no control over another servant. However, she was able to summon me, and she chose this place for me to reside. Therefore, as long as these gates stand and I can still breathe, I will be here to defend them. Thank you. 
I doubt I will live to see the dawn, but at least I will have the chance to die trying, and for that I am grateful. You stayed so you could fight me? This body was always meant to wither like a dying flower. But if I could meet my grave at the hands of a worthy opponent, then let these steps set that stage. <laughs> What is that thing? Wait, is that the Grail? It hasn't assumed its true form quite yet, but it's about to burst right now. <gasps> really? It's your uh, ugly huh? mugs again? Gilgamesh, but how? <laughs> if you're here to fight us, then who's saber fighting? <laughs> Any second now, that cocoon will hatch. Something like the Holy Grail deserves an audience for its birth. If you halfwits can stay on the sidelines and not interfere, then I'll let you watch and give your pathetic lives some meaning. Sorry, but it's not gonna go down that way. This little birthday party is about to come to an end! Morons. How dare you try and stop me, Trace? On! Interesting. Achieved! Ready! So, you reproduced all my noble phantasms that you could see. That's very impressive. Remove all barriers, but not good enough! Projection complete! Fire at will! If that's all you've got, then it's clearly Archer who should have lived, and not you. He may not be as good as me, but at least he's not fueled by some borrowed dream. But I think he already mentioned that character flaw to you, didn't he? He did, but you know what's interesting? Hmm? He was the first to point out that at the end of my dream lies nothing but disappointment. And yet he pursued that dream to the very end. Sometimes it's the thing we know we will never be. It keeps us chasing it forever. Maybe this is a borrowed dream, but if I'm willing to fight for it until the very end, then who cares? I gave you points for being persistent. That last attack should have been fatal. Now die! I'm here, Shiro! Stay back! I'll finish him. No, don't! I can handle him alone, Saber. But Shiro... Rin needs you more! She's trying to stop the Grail! Help her! Uh. 
Good luck then. You are an idiot. By sending away that servant, you sent away any chance you had of defeating me. And that's where you're wrong! My true strength doesn't lie in my ability to replicate a sword. It's the power to create anything I see in my mind! All right, I am the bone of my sword! What the... I create a world... of powerful swords! Whose numbers... are infinite! I call it... Unlimited Blade Works! A reality marvel. They're all nothing more than an imitation! And according to you, that makes them completely worthless! But I bet my cheap imitations can cut you down just as fast as the real thing! So come on, Hero King! Let's see whose blade cuts deeper! Easy, you little mongrel! Know your place! No, don't! Don't go anywhere near that magma! But Rin, this thing's about to burst! Destroy it with a noble phantasm before that happens! Understood! Now get out of there! I'll take care of the rest! Damn it! We're trapped! Shinji, I honestly tried, I promise you. I thought I could save you, but... Keep going! <laughs> Listening to yourself is revolting.
Since that thing has lost its vessel, it's trying its best to come after me now. The vessel it needs to complete itself should be a Magus, not a servant! Fain right. <laughs> Wait. Don't go. Be my servant again, please. I can't do that. I don't have that right anymore. I'm sorry. But more importantly, I'm done here. My fight is over. But that means... That means that... That you'll never be able to... And that's fine. I leave this world with no regrets. Now, Rin, watch over the me that remains. As you know, he's rather clueless. Archer. Fine, I'll give you my word. I'll do everything I can. I'll try my best to help him learn to like himself and appreciate all that he has. And you should learn to do the same. You've answered everything I need to know. Don't worry about me, Rin. You have my word. I won't disappoint you. <laughs> Wait a sec. It's too late. I wanted to yell at him one last time. Sometimes I remember the blunt sound of metal against metal. The staggering, blinding sword fights that never seem to come to an end. It's our beliefs that clashed against each other. In order to make my dreams come true, I've gone out of my way to question everything I believe in. I don't have any answers yet. And I probably won't for a very long time. <laughs>